In this example, we're asked to find all the key components of a horizontal curve. We're told that the curve has a point of intersection of 127 plus 50. We know it's a three degree curve and has an intersecting angle of 13 degrees, 25 minutes. So with this information, we can start working through the components that we need. We can calculate the radius, which is 18,000 over pi times our three degree curve, which gives us a radius of 1,909.859 feet. We can calculate our tangent length, which will be equal to 1,909.859, which is our radius, multiplied by our tangent of our intersecting angle, 13.4166 degrees, divided by 2, gives us a tangent length of 224.64 feet. We can now calculate our point of curvature station. We're going to start with our PI and subtract off our tangent length. So our PI of 127 plus 50, we're going to subtract off the 224.64 feet, gives us a PC station of 125 plus 25.36. We can also calculate our length. This is 100 feet multiplied by our intersecting or deflection angle of 13.4166 degrees divided by a three degree curve gives us a length of our curve of 447.22 feet. Now we can calculate the station of our point of tangency, the PT, by adding this length to our PC station. So we'll have station of our PC 125 plus 25.36 or just in feet, 12,525.36 feet plus 447.22 feet for our length will give us a PT station of 129 plus 72.58. We can calculate our long cord, 2 times the radius of 1909.859 feet multiplied by the sine of delta divided by 2, that's 13.4166 degrees divided by 2, gives us a long cord of 446.2 feet. Our external distance, 224.64 feet. That's our tangent length multiplied by the tangent of delta divided by 4. That's 13.4166 degrees divided by 4. Gives us an external distance of 13.17 feet. Our middle ordinate can also be calculated. The radius, 1909.859 feet multiplied by 1 minus the cosine of delta divided by 2 will give us a middle ordinate of 13.08 feet. We can also develop a table for our deflection angles. So our first column, we're going to just list the station starting at the PC, going every half station, half and whole station, till we reach the PT. The incremental length, the first and last, will be something other than 50, all the Intermediate ones will be 50 feet. So our first distance from the PC to station 125 plus 50 is 24.64 feet. The remaining will be 50 until we reach our last even increment, the 129 plus 50. And then moving from it to our PT will give us an incremental length of 22.58. Our next column over, we're going to calculate those incremental deflections, L multiplied by the degree of curve divided by 200. So our first and last will be different. All the ones in the middle will be equal to each other, zero degrees, 45 minutes, zero seconds. And then our final column for the total deflection, we're gonna add up the previous column with the incremental deflections. So as we move that, we're gonna start with our first incremental deflection and then add on uh, to the column just to the left of it. And we'll find that our total deflection is 6 degrees, 42 minutes, 30 seconds, which is equal to half of our deflection angle. And that's our important check when we're working with a deflection table. So this concludes this example.